Hi, hi, hi. Hey, welcome back to Earl's Animated Worlds. Uh, today I'm not really doing much of any reviews. I just wanted to talk a bit about my channel today. Um, so, last week I hit, it was last week or the week before, I finally hit 400 subscribers. And that has dropped by two until this morning where, once again, I was at 400 subscribers. Um, in the past, like, week and a half now I've been under the weather so if you've seen my last two videos they were up close and very off center I'm actually not sure if the camera's right on this one either you apologize for that if it's not um I do want to talk about what's coming up in the future on my channel of Earl's Animated Worlds uh first off you know eh, it's um uh, Springtime, which with Legos, that usually, uh, the new year with Legos, that means, well, spring's coming up. Anyways, where was I? With Legos, they've got the uh, Lunar New Year sets out. Um, this was one of them this year, was the Cherry Blossoms. Uh, there is a new postcard, which is of Japan. I was going to get Beijing. That one is currently sold out on their website, but I can guarantee I can probably get it later on another site. Usually Amazon. <laughs> um, so let's talk about Legos for a few minutes anyways. Um, also, if I'm moving around like this, it's just a thing I do. Anyways, um, so I have uh, the first of this month. Uh, it is March 5th right now, I do believe. Uh, I didn't chain that since yesterday, so do, 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 yeah. March 5th. Uh, so anyways, it's March 5th, uh, first of this month. I did go on the um, LEGO website to order the new Animal Crossing LEGOs, because definitely getting those. I love Animal Crossing. It's one of my favorite games. Um, the first two were sold out. So going down from that, it's... I um, can't remember the names. There's a birthday party one. Uh, Cappins. And then there's the adventure one, and if you spend so much blah blah blah, you do get a gift with purchase, which I did get that, so, you know, yay me. Anyways, um, yeah, so after I placed my order, uh, the birthday one there, you know, I get a uh, message on the whole, hey, thanks for placing your order. This, the next message, this is your order, and a third one saying, hey, this one is currently on back order. But the other two are heading this way, so as soon as they get here, I will be opening those up, putting them together, and reviewing them, because I just can't wait for an Animal Crossing LEGO set. Uh, also on that, um, it's probably going to be April or May till I get the other two, uh, or even order them, even if they're on back order. Um, along with video game LEGOs. So, I can guarantee you 100%, because I don't like them at all is the Mario Legos. You will not see those on my channel. Uh, so yeah, you will not see the Mario Legos on my channel. I don't care for them. I, you know, they're just little electronic things. If I wanted to play a Mario video game, I'd get on my Nintendo Switch and go play the Mario video games. Okay, also, um, so apparently there's a Legend of Zelda set coming out. Uh, it's going to be the um, I'm guessing, well, I, I can guarantee Link's going to come with it. I'm guessing Zelda's going to come with it. And it is the Great Deku Tree. So I'm going to try and get that one. There's a bunch of sets I want to get this year. Um, I know I said I was mostly going to get LEGO City sets, but, you know, I just like the video games, uh, the video game ones like that just to display. Um, maybe some Disney ones. I do want the Cottage from Snow White. I might, still not sure about it, you know. I might get the um, I might get the Nightmare Before Christmas Lego set. Not sure on that one. Uh, if you've seen the, you know, cargo crates and everything coming out for Lego City, I plan to get at least two of those because I just thought it looked cool. I still plan to get a I believe they're called a Forever Table. Get some plywood that's a little bigger than that. That way, you know, I can have some more room to work around. Um, I do have some larger sets. I actually do have a couple modules. Um, I just haven't had the time to build them or the space to store them right now. 
you know you saw the third party one there and it's actually over in the corner there you can't see it is the restaurant there that i got from temu um you can still find those around on uh, that site and on other websites for like anywhere from about sixty dollars to 110 so yeah like i always like i've said before you know if you can't afford the actual modules go get a third party one uh what else was with legos i wanted to talk about there was a few things uh there's a so i plan to try and get some minifigures you know there's the new sets out i really like those um i do want to get some more of the series 24 sets those are getting a little pricey i want to get some more disney ones i'm going to get the mar i'm going to start collecting the marvel ones but to a point if i get the marvel ones and I open a pack with Beast in it. I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to stop right there because, you know, I got Storm. So, you know, I'm very happy about that because I love the figure they did for Storm. And if things look like they just changed, it's because they did. They got a little distracted. Anyways, where was I? Anyway, so I'm trying to collect more of Series uh, 24 for the Lego minifigures. So there's a, um, yeah, there's a figure in there. I want to get a couple of them. Uh, the T-Rex guy, I'd love to get the dinosaur costume characters. Um, there's the girl on the um, uh, rocking horse there. Uh, there's the carrot guy with the um, farmer's market. Uh, that's one of the sets I got when I was first starting to think about, you know, I want to do a Lego set. The first two sets I did get, and I still haven't even reviewed them, was the farmer's market, which I had to pay a little over the... Don't mind that. This thing's from Temu. It does that a lot. I guess I'm gonna hold that up there even better with. <sighs> Anyways, you know, it was the Farmer's Market, which I had to pay a little overpriced because I got it off Amazon. And the other one was the, um, I think it's like Family Camper or something. It comes with the husband, wife, and a baby. <sighs> Still haven't reviewed those. Jeez, what's wrong with me? Um, then, like I said, you know, I got a couple modules. I don't have a place for them right now so they're still in their box uh one is the assembly square so you know i can't wait to put that together because that's that's like a big part of my whole like little town thing that i'm going with um you know i got some i'm getting some more of the uh, road plates there i do like the way the new road plates are i know they're not popular with a lot of people but i i do like how they are you know um Oh, any other Lego news? Oh, D&D &D Legos are going to be coming out uh, this September, I believe it was, because I know uh, Nightmare Before Christmas come around the same time, or it was October. It's September, October, anyways. Um, you know, they, if you can find them, they've shown a couple little uh, bits on them. Uh, parts are, inter are very interchangeable, you know, build your own character type of deal. Uh, don't know if I'm going to get the set from that. I don't really think I am. The uh, hole in there. Um, I know I want to get some of the Harry Potter Lego sets. Uh, reason for that is I want to get some of the ones with snow on them because uh, my dresser here, I'm going to be putting a little Christmas village on it at Christmas time. You know, I've got the Santa, I got like the Santa's village house. I've got the like downtown one. There's the lot, there's that um, cabin that just came out. I want to get the ski lift, you know, put that in the back, get some of these trees here off, uh, you know, offline, these third party ones and um, get some of these in white. Um, I'm just going to take the leaves off the other ones, you know, and put some white tile bricks on them. So that'd be cool. <sighs> you know, that's all, you know, that's all I really know I've got for Lego right now. Um, other things that have happened recently, you know, you saw my ladybug and cat noir. Uh, where I live right now, they have a convention called Pensacon. It's every February. Christina V came to this year's Pensacon. That was really cool. You know, the voice of Ladybug herself. I really enjoyed that. Um, I did get her autograph, so that was cool. I think it smudged a bit down here, but, you know, with what this is made of and the autographs made of, you know, if it did smudge, I'm just going to erase it and ask her to re-sign it next year if she comes. I'm hoping she'll come to the uh, con next year. I'd really love that. That'd be really cool. Um, also talking about Ladybug and Cat Noir. End of April, I 
hoping by the end of April I'll have another mirac I'll have a miraculous review. Um, not a miraculous like toy, but an actual you know the jewelry miraculous. Um, I'm going to put uh, some you know different names in the con uh, some different miraculous. These are the ones from the Zag store. I'm not getting any, like, oh, I don't know where everybody was getting those really cheap ones, but they looked bad. You know, I'm putting the ones from the Zag store in there. You know, I'll be putting a small list of them in there. You know, let me know in the comments which one you'd like to see me review. Uh, unfortunately, the one I wanted to review last year, they never got it back in stock. You know, X that they did at the summer, but, you know, it was a whole summertime money's tight type situation and it was in for like five minutes and then it was gone and that's the watch mirac the uh yeah the uh pocket watch miraculous there bunnyx's <sighs> which would have been really cool to get you know i do love pocket watches i think they're cool you know i think bunnyx's whole alice in wonderland thing there's that's going on with that character is really cool so um uh, the Mirai Balls, I will still be doing those. You know, I'm, I'm going to try and get as many. I'd love to get Cap Block. You know, I really love to get that one. Um, if you saw my last video, I got the Macaron. I'd love to get the um, Croissant and the Yo-Yo. I keep calling it a Ladybug emblem. It's the, it's her Yo-Yo. I'd really love to get that one. You know, Fluff. Uh, of course, Tiki and Plague. you know. <sighs> I want to get some of the... Uh, Kwame Surprise ones, they came out with new ones actually, which was uh, Hawk Moth's Rings from Season 5, which was, it's really cool. It, it, it's just, you know, the basic ones you had from Series 1-2, um, you know, where they'd have the Miraculous with them. Well, now they've got Hawk Moth's Rings with them. Uh, there's still, like, different, the uh, translucent ones in it too, with glitter on them now. So that'd be cool. Um, there's one miraculous toy i want to get and it's a doll and the reason i want to get it and i'm not sure if i'm going because it'd just be me complaining about the whole thing is the mystery dolls which are almost 20 dollars and the whole point of it is you know you know it's marionette it's ball joint basic doll body and her clothes are printed onto the basic doll there and you put it in water and you know mystery doll but they're almost 20 dollars and that kind of seems really bad to me that they do that <laughs> um oh what else hopefully i'm hoping by a the end of april at least you know i'm gonna have some um uh, another movie or tv review i really want to start getting into reviewing season five of ladybug and cat noir because there's a lot i want to talk about that um one of my favorite animes is actually being remade um, Spice and Wolf. I really love that show. I haven't, I, you know, I'm just starting to read the manga and the light novels, you know, things like 10, 15 years later they came out, you know, well, that since they've come out, I'm starting to read them. Uh, I can still find them, so yeah, as long as I can find them, I'm gonna read them. Uh, I do want to take, I do want to do a review of the, um, anime on that one. I really like the way it went. It was, uh, wasn't, you know, what's gonna happen next stressful type thing um wasn't any epic battles you know it was just people just them using their minds and you know using their wits to get around people or to get away from people uh what else do i want to do i want to get some artwork up on these walls i've got that lion king one there and if you've seen my videos from my last house that i was in I got my Gyarados and Magikarp uh, Temu wall scroll over there, which really looks good on the wall, actually. Um, you know, like I said, you know, I got this. I'm going to try and get it framed. Uh, even if this is smudged, like I said, I, uh, it'll be in a frame where I can take it out. I've got a, another autograph of uh, from uh, Christina V. Um, she had a lot of cool autographs up there. Oh, my God. Oh, let me talk about her for a second. One. She is a wonderful person to meet. This woman is just a wonderful person to meet. She's really nice, you know. She will talk to you for a bit. Uh, actually, I asked her what her favorite macaron was. She said it's the rose one, which not a bad. Uh, it was rose and pistachios, her fa two favorites, you know. I, because of the whole, you know, ladybug cat noir, a 
lot of macarons in that show show up. I think that's really cool to know. Um, um, so that's the that's the awesome part, you know. Really friendly, you know. She will talk to you. <sighs> Here's the downside: it's expensive to get an autograph from her. Uh, this plastic thing, they were everybody was had them at the con there, and everybody doing like uh, autographs and stuff, and they're like ten bucks a piece for the big one here. The autograph here, by the way, I don't know if that's showing up on camera that she's changing in there. Uh, it's Marinette Ladybug and um, uh, Lady Noir, I think was her name. Um, this thing's awesome. I asked the guy there, you know, is that going to, you know, or is she going to be showing up tomorrow? And he said, she'll be here tomorrow. I don't know if that print will be. I get there the next day. First thing, that thing's gone. It's gone. It's not there anymore. I was happy to get that. Uh, but yeah, that alone was $80 just for the picture and autograph. So, um, I was hoping to record a couple minutes of me being able to talk to her. So I could put it up on the channel here. Um, $70 for that. That would have been $70. I did not have it. Uh, like I said, I got two autographs. I paid $180 for those. So, you know, oh, that, that, you know, upside to a con, you get to meet some cool people. Downside to a con, it's expensive meeting some of the people. I did meet the original um, artist behind Scooby-Doo, He-Man, the Masters of the Universe, and also one of my favorite uh, cartoon movies, uh, Who Framed Roger Rabbit. I didn't know he did the animation for Roger and Jessica Rabbit. Thought that was really cool. You know, that made my whole day just knowing that. So, like I said, I want to put more artwork on the walls. I have a... Um, uh, I don't want to get them ruined. I don't want them to get ruined. So a lot of frames you get in the stores have acid in you know some of the parts of them. Um, I'm gonna be uh, doing some framing of stuff that's like not really autographed. You know, it, it's more of it's gonna be expensive for the frame. Usually it's like twenty to forty dollars depending on the size of the frame. You know, plus I'm getting a you know it's like this archival tissue you put in behind the portrait or artwork whatever to keep it safe so you know hopefully i'll have some more artwork to put up i want to get back into my painting um if you see this lion king one up here this is from painting with a twist one you know i've done a few others by myself which are really cool um i don't have them in here with me though unfortunately so i will have some more you know i'm going to be doing more shorts uh, I'm going to be doing more food shorts, you know, it's Easter time's almost here, which means summer's almost here, which means Coca-Cola and Mountain Dew have new flavors out. I've got those. I haven't reviewed them yet. Uh, there's new Kit Kat flavors out. There's one new Kit Kat flavor out. Uh, I've got that. I haven't reviewed it yet. So those are going to be in shorts. So those will be coming up in the next two weeks or so. I'm hoping to have the um, soda ones out this week. What else? Uh, like I said, I want to do more. Uh, I want to do some reviews on movies and TV shows. Uh, those are going to be mostly cartoons and anime. Um, I might throw a live action one at that. You know, my biggest thing this year, the end of the year, is to ha at least try to hit close to a thousand subscribers. Would I like to hit a thousand subscribers? Yes, I would. Uh, one of the biggest things is I want to get monetized. That's the whole, you know, that's one of the biggest points of this. Am I throwing things out there to get monetized? No, I'm not. Um, mini stuff. I love those, you know, be you know, the Kwame surprise. I love those. I love surprise boxes. They're a lot of fun. Uh, it's hard for me to find one. I really like because a lot of them are just squishy keychains. You know, anytime I go up, uh, go up and see a wall of those at the store, it's like, well, we got Demon Slayer. We got Mario Kart. Uh, we got baseball. You know, we got Yu-Gi-Oh! Pokemon. You go to feel them, it's like, it's just a squishy keychain. That's kind of disappointing. Um, uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Sometime in April, I do have some figures uh, I bought a while ago. haven't reviewed them of uh, Animal Crossing. I will be reviewing those, so yay. Uh, also, uh, you know, <sighs> uh, I'd just like to, you know, thank you for watching. If you watch this, you know, if you watch to the end here, if you like this, you know, like, subscribe, hit the notifications, the usual stuff, uh, comments below there. Myself, I'm going to go to bed.
All right, everybody. Good night.